Welcome back. In this video, we are going to take a look at how you can set up RQ dashboard fast API and how you can use it on a CentOS machine. So in order to, uh, basically this uh, module provides a web application that you can use to monitor your Redis based uh, queues. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So <clears throat> we have some preparation to do because by default, Python 3.9 is installed on the CentOS 9 machine and we need at least 3.10, but we will install 3.12. So yum, install Python 3.12, Python 3.12 dash pip. And once the installation is complete, what we will have to do is to also install and set up the Redis uh, application, which is uh, kind of a no-brainer. Basically, we will use it with the default settings. So yum, install Redis and system CTL enable Redis system CTL start Redis and let's uh, stop our firewall. All right, we have Redis, we have the Python installed. Now we need to install the dependency. So pip install rq dashboard fast. So this is going to be the dependency. And what we will do is to create a folder. So rqdb demo. And here what we have to do is to first create our uh, GUI or web interface. And we can call this web interface that py and from fast api we import fast api from rq dashboard fast we import the redis q dashboard and we import the uvicorn <coughs> module so we create our fast api instance and the dashboard instance which will come from the Redis Q dashboard and we connect to the Redis on the local host 127.0.0.1.8000 and the mount is RQ. And now we use the app.mount with the endpoint RQ and the dashboard and the if the underscore name is going to take care of kicking off our process with the UV corn that run app and the host is going to be 000, zero, zero. so we listen on all interfaces and the port is 8000. So now if we use Python 3.12 to run our web interface and go back to the browser, what we should see on the HTTP CentOS 9 and port 8000 with the RQ context route is that our Mm -hmm. What is going on? Hmm. Seems like this is frozen. So let's open up a new terminal and <clears throat> go to the CentOS 9 machine and Python 3.12 web interface. 
temporary redirect. Hmm? HTTP CentOS 9 uh -huh. <clears throat> Why is it not loading? Maybe sudo su no SSH CentOS 9 System CTL stop firewall D and sudo system CTL status redis CTL. It's running. Oh, hold on. RQDB demo web interface, and <laughs> this should be the redis port. So 6379. That was the blocking statement. So Python 3.12 web interface. All right. So now <laughs> the web page is able to load. That was a rookie mistake. So let's connect some workers. Let's open up a new terminal. And here in the folder, we use the RQ worker and we specify the default channel or we don't specify any channels and it will default to the default channel. So now in the workers page, you can see that we have one idle worker. Just for demonstration's sake on the CentOS 9, what we have to do is to run RQ worker. Now let's go to the RQ DB demo and RQ worker, let's give it the high channel. And if you refresh it here, you can see we have another worker on the high queue. All right, so now we are going to create our tasks. So what I will do is to shut down these workers. And <clears throat> here in the RQDB demo, I'm going to create a folder, RQ tasks. And inside the RQ tasks, we will have the init function, function the init script, and from dot RQ tasks, import star. That's going to be our statement. And we will have the RQ tasks.py. So let's define a function which will multiply two numbers and we return a times b and create another one which is supposed to be dividing two numbers a and b and this will return the a slash b and we will have the upper case of return a dot upper so these are going to be our tasks and if we want, we can open up our Python interpreter and from RQ tasks import star. And in the namespace, we will have the divide, the multiply, and the uppercase functions. <clears throat> so now what we want to do is to create our main.py and here from Redis. We import Redis from RQ, we import Q, and from RQ tasks, we import star, and we create our Q from the Q dot NQ. So this is how we send jobs to the Redis Q. And this connection is, sorry, so Q and this is capital letter and the connection that we use is going to be Redis connection with default arguments so it knows to connect to the local host. And uh, the job, the first job that we want to submit 
is going to be the multiply with the four and five. And the second job is going to be q dot n q mold uh, divide with five and seven and the third job is going to be q dot n q and upper case of this is awesome good so now what we have to do is to run our main.py and if you go back to our web interface you will see that we have three jobs submitted and these are queued so <clears throat> technically what we have to do now is to spin up a worker and now you can see that this worker has picked up from the default channel these jobs. And uh, if we visit the job ID, you will see that for the divide, the result was 0.71. And for the uppercase, this was, this is awesome. And capital letters and the multiply four by five is equal to 20. So now, basically, we have three successful jobs and our queue has three finished jobs. And if we want, we can export jobs and the jobs data or the workers or the queues. So, this is how you can set up the RQ dashboard fast API. See you in the next one.